Hey everyone, this is the Oatleydale, or Oatleydale, I have no idea. Drift Zone, 125,000 points for 3 stars. Seasonal objective is 128,000 points. And this one is a pretty flat drift zone. You can start down here on the south, or you can start up here on the north. I typically like to start up here for whatever random reason. I just seem to get a little bit better scores. And before I start, I want to say a few things about a drift tune, because drifting is quite a bit different from any of the other PR stunts out there. So here we are in the tuning menus. I watched a lot of Hoki Hoshi videos on how to tune and how to drift. I highly recommend that. Uh, that said, I have my own little hack that I did. Um, I did tune everything pretty well, as realistic as you can get for a game. However, in the gearing menu, what I did is I made second gear really long, and basically all I do is I hang out in second gear while I drift. Now I know all those out there that are real life drifters and whatnot think that's pretty much insane and stupid, but this is a game, not real life, so I don't really care. I'll exploit what I need to exploit to do what I need to do. One last thing on drifting in the difficulty settings, uh, whether it's my setup or if you download a tune in someone else's setup, more than likely you're going to want to be on manual shifting. Uh, it's just a little bit easier uh, when you're trying to drift, uh, especially in mine. Uh, like I said, my second gear is really long and I just hang out in second gear, so I have to be in manual. And also the other setting is braking. You want ABS off. Um, those are really the only two settings that I change um, from my regular driving. Okay, finally, here we go. Let's give this drift zone a rumble. Yeah! 139,000 points. Did it? 